you can see we have a DB9 here, and we have right here the breakout correlation to the DB9. Now, all of my systems you know or should know if you've reviewed any of my videos come with wiring diagrams. This system actually supports dual relays to control forward and backwards motion of the spindle through the software as well as spindle control using a DB9 cable. And then when we come over here, he's got all of his programming settings along with the wiring diagram that's done internally for this connector. Okay, so as we rotate the system, you guys can see exactly what we have here. You can see we have cycle forward direction and then how this relay is wired. And then of course over here, we also have the cycle backward direction. And then we have the DB9 connector right here. And we have the ferrites installed on our signal cables coming from the G540 from outputs five and six. And everything else here is very, very simple. I also put a redundant wiring diagram of the DB9 over here, which once again is so that if they ever had to work on their system, they would have this diagram present with the system open, and that's exactly what we want, okay? Once again, dual relays are toolless mounted. Nothing new here if you're, if you're familiar with my channel, um, but overall, a very advanced system because of the capabilities that it possesses. Now, Shanover at Works, they require that forward and backward direction when they're manufacturing their holsters, and again, this allows for that all within the software so that you can once again utilize a lot less manpower in terms of having to manually go over and change direction of the spindle.